Annyeong! This is Nuna Army. So today we'll be setting up my BTS photo card binder. I actually have two systems of storing my photo cards. So the main one is my top loader system which I have a separate video on. And as my collection has grown and I've collected a few different types of photo cards, it's just been more effective or made more sense to actually set up a photo card binder and that's what we have here i do have a separate video where i talk about different supplies the different types of photo cards that i have and just go into detail about that so i'll link that somewhere here for you to see and watch first because i won't be going into the details of the supplies in this video this is purely just setting up all of these different photo cards into this binder Having said that, I have done a lot of prep. So for me personally, I don't want to be like fiddling around when I have all of these different photo cards as I'm putting them in the binder. I want just to have proper planning so I can just smoothly go and transfer all of these into my nice binder. So I've done a lot of prep work prior to this actually just to plan everything lay everything out just to make sure that the binder setup is as smooth as possible even if i wasn't filming a video i would have done that because i just prefer to be able to just smoothly transfer and prepare this binder in one go without any issues so it will be a little embarrassing if as we're going through the binder i'll actually find that maybe there are some things that i missed and and whatnot so this is just a little like pad that I prepared. So I have a little inventory of all the different binder pages that I do have. So it tells me how many I have of each type of sheet. And then I made a list of all the different photo cards that I do need to sort out into the binder with measurements of the photo cards just to help me plan better. And then I have a layout section which has the different photo cards, the different pages. And in pencil, I've written out how to lay it out. And lastly, these are just the different little fillers and title cards that I had to make. Um, yeah. I've also prepared beforehand just some section dividers. And the different little title cards and filler cards. So I put a lot of effort in the title cards and filler cards just because one of the things that I don't like about the binder setup and at least some of the videos that I've seen is that it puts a lot of pressure for you to complete the set and what I mean by that is you have these like temporary filler cards that just remind you of what cards are missing. That's not how I'm going to be setting up this binder. I want it to look complete even if I know there are collections that are just not complete yet that I might not ever complete because I don't want to. Um, so I just want the binder to look full and complete. And that's why I have spent quite a bit of effort on these little fillers and title cards. Okay, let's start. So for all of the photo cards that will be going into the binder, I've already pre-sleeved them with soft sleeves. So just we'll go straight into putting them in the different pockets. So we have the one pocket pages here and therefore the Bring the Soul docu-series. Okay, so that's the first one. So this is the Bring the Soul docu-series. I forgot to mention that the way I'll be organizing all of the photo cards is by fan chant order. So we start off with RM and then we go into Sokjin and then we go into Yonggi and then we go into Hosok, Jimin, V, and JK. So that's just the order that I'll be following. It's not a novel idea. Most people organize their photo cards by fan chant order. I'm just letting you know that that's how it's going to go today. So we have two pocket pages for Season's Greetings 2020 message cards. I don't have OT7 here, but I have five. So I do have a few filler cards here. So this is just the title card. Now there is one pocket page here that is empty because I have a JK card. 
that is on its way to me. So I'm just going to put a little post-it just so I know exactly where that card will go. The next one is an eight pocket page for the Army Bomb Special Edition, Map of the Soul Special Edition photo cards. Have another eight pocket page so this eight pocket page will be filled with a random assortment of mostly gin cards and a couple of like one RM card and one sugar card so it's just a little catch-all I have this little cute filler which is Jin's tiny tan sticker I just realized that I forgot to round out the corner there so I'm just gonna So this is just the miscellaneous section, which is really random. So I have a little catch-all page here, the Army Bomb photo cards for the Map of the Soul Special Edition, and Season's Greetings. Actually, I realized I forgot to add something in Season's Greetings. It's these two cards. Oops. I forgot to include these two cards, so let me do that. So these are really big that will go into cool. so that season's greetings 2020 then bring this home. Then we'll go into brand collabs. This is just a little divider that I made. And this is like a is it Body Friend? The Body Friend Massage Chair. I think it's a cute little sticker that matches this brand collabs theme. I have two pocket pages. So we have this Mediheal insert. card so cute I'm really proud of these title cards <laughs> yes it is a duplicate set that I'm adding here just cuz Between the two duplicates, so the two sets of Medi Heal postcards, I will be adding a little section for these plastic folders. Samsung is just this one big lenticular card. And I have this little 
title card. Hello, camera. <laughs> Then we have our VD Cosmetics cards. Okay, so that's Brand Collabs. Okay, so we're starting with the second binder. I only, I feel the need to explain this because why did I choose such small binders? So they're really just one inch binders. First, they came in a pack of six, like I had no option but to get six of them. And I thought it would be better to keep like smaller binders instead of a lot of big ones, just so it's not too heavy and the cards won't be like crushing the ones at the bottom too much. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try these one inch binders and see if, if it works out for me in the long run just to keep them in one inch binders or do I have to upgrade later on into bigger binders. Anyway, so we're starting off with a second binder with albums, and this is the little section divider that I made for that. This is the Mod 7 sticker. It didn't come with the album, like someone gave it to me as part of a, a freebie, as part of a little trade that we did. Okay, so we'll start with The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, Part 1. This is just a title card, and then this is a filler card that I made, which has lyrics from Dope. Okay, so next up is Wings. And a little filler card that has the lyrics of Hana Dolzet, a little fan made PC. Okay, so that's the little album section. And we'll go into Musters. This is the section divider that I made. I just have BT21 here. I love BT21. They're so cute. And I thought it would fit the muster section just because they do have a little bit of more fun with the musters. So let's see. So we have an eight pocket page here. And this is for fourth muster, happy ever after. Mini PCs. This part is for the 4th Muster Cloud Cards, which we have here. And I just made a little filler card with Pied Piper lyrics. Muster, Guestbook PC. Then up next is we have Fifth Muster Japan Mini PC, a huge stack. <laughs> so I have a little title card for this. Next are the 5th Master Japan Big Lenticulars. So I actually have duplicates of the same card. And as you can see, in my even in my Magic Shop cards, I have quite a few duplicates that I just choose to keep. I don't know. I don't mind having the duplicates there. These will go into two pocket cards or two pocket pages. 
this is my little title card, quite simple. Yeah. Then we have the Mood Light, Fifth Muster Mood Light Polaroid. This is the only card that I have from this set that's with me right now, but I have a few more that are on their way here. Okay, so we have musters and albums in this binder. Again, I think this is done. Um, if I have another big section coming up and I don't think we'll be able to fit them here. So, we'll be starting with a third binder. This binder is just going to be for tours. So, tour PCs. So I have this little section divider that I made with some Love Yourself stickers. Start with the Wings Tour. I have both I don't have many of these cards, so I have both version 1 and version 2. Okay. Now we have 8 pocket pages ready for the Love Yourself Tour mini PCs that I have. I've made these. This is a little title card with just Love Yourself washi tape. I have a filler card that has lyrics from Idol. And then we just have cute little JK. <laughs> then we have next is Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, the final. So I have big photo cards and also mini photo cards. I have this little uh, title card that I made for Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, the final. It's just nice and gold with some washi tape and the back is also decorated. Okay, so next we have this thick stack of Map of the Soul Tour mini PCs. I do have a complete set of Map of the Soul Tour mini PCs, which I keep in my top loader system. These are just duplicates that I want to keep. I have a lot of Map of the Soul Tour mini PC cards, just because it was a big journey for me to actually be able to complete this set. I have another stack that's just purely for cards that I'm just selling online right now. These ones are just the ones I keep and yeah, they're really, it's a really thick stack. I'm really excited to put it in the binder. I've made um, title cards and filler cards for this, as you can see. So I have the little Map of the Soul Tour title card. I have fillers with just stickers of Map of the Soul Tour, the guys. And then I have one card that has lyrics for On, which I really love that song. I, I don't think it got the attention that it really deserved. So uh, anyway, here we are. Let's just try to honor On as best as we can. So next up is Bang Bang Con the Live Mini PCs. I don't have a lot of cards from this set just because I think it is very similar to Map of the Soul Tour. I was also not actively collecting photo cards when this went up for sale. So yeah, I only really have these six cards. These are my little title cards and filler. So this filler has lyrics from Chingu, which was performed by V and Jimin during the Bang Bang Con Live. Then we're now to the last set of photo cards. This is Map of the Soul 1. Again, I have already completed this set, actually similar to Map of the Soul Tour, and that completed set is in my top loader system. These are just duplicates that I have chosen to keep, and that's why I'm going to put them in the binder that I have. 
these are this is the title card that I made this is a filler card with lyrics from moon and then this is just a filler card with their dynamite image and their incredibly I don't know perfect photo from their GQ cover this is just amazing <laughs> I'm so glad I have a little sticker that can go into a filler card okay so that completes this tours binder incredible so today I went from zero binders to three granted they are like one inch binders that's why they are three <laughs> And we just do a quick flip through of the different sections. So we have tours here. This entire thing is just tours. Then I have musters. And albums. And then I have brand collabs. And like miscellaneous stuff. There are quite a few like little post-its that I have as placeholders here just because these are cards that are already on their way to me. Anyway, so yeah, I now officially have binders to keep my photo cards in. I really enjoyed this process. I found it very satisfying. I've been waiting to build these binders since the moment I decided that I was gonna get I was gonna create binders for my photo cards. I was like, yes, I cannot wait for the day that I actually build them. And here we are, that was just so relaxing for me and I can't wait to keep building within this little binder system that I have created. So thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed that, found that useful for me personally. I just like watching these videos, playing them in the background or like I'm just like really chilling and relaxing and watching them because I, I do find them really really relaxing somehow, don't know why. If you haven't seen any of my other videos about storage, so from the supplies that I have used here in this little binder setup to my little top loader system and whatnot, I'm going to be linking those for you so you can access them if you want to watch those videos. So again, thank you so much for staying with me up until the end and watching this video. I really appreciate it and I hope you liked it. I hope you found it useful um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!